This is Amy Chapman for 12 Puppy, and this is Pilaf. Welcome to Growing Up Guide Pup. Over the time that we've had Pilaf, we've discovered she has a little bit of an impulsive personality. If she sees something she wants, she dives right for it. So last week we worked on this a little bit by introducing her to the head collar. Well this week we decided to work on it a little bit more at home by doing some seating the floor exercises. So the whole idea of this concept is to clear out the floor a little bit and lay down some objects that Pilaf's not supposed to touch. And this includes shoes, my purse, a hat, socks, basically anything you can find around the house. Also included with these objects are toys that she is allowed to have. And the whole goal is for her to ignore the objects she's not supposed to have and go for her toys. But this seemed to be a little bit of a challenge for Pilaf. During this exercise, Pilaf had a really hard time focusing on her toys. She seemed to not want to have anything to do with them. And it turned out this was just a little too much for her to handle. She went after everything that she wasn't supposed to, and she had a real big affinity for my sock. She just wants anything other than her toys. She thinks everything is for her, and she really has no inhibitions. And if she sees something she wants, she goes right for it. So we need to help her out a little bit. So the following day, we did a similar exercise with her, but this time we added way more toys and only one object that she wasn't supposed to have, hoping to build her up for a little bit of success. The one object we put on the floor with her toys that she wasn't supposed to have was my giant's cap. So she had way more right objects to choose from, and it seemed to help a lot. This time she went for the toys and was very happy playing with them, and I gave her lots of praise for it. Now she did end up finding the hat and did go for it a couple of times, but we managed to get a few corrections in and she focused back on her toys, which was a huge improvement from the day before where I couldn't get her to focus on anything other than the objects that she wasn't supposed to have. It was really encouraging to see that Pilaf could make such a big improvement from one day to another. Now our ultimate goal is to get her to be able to ignore multiple objects on the floor. Now, we're not gonna get there just in one day, so we're gonna have to repeat this exercise with her daily and slowly, when she's ready, increase the amount of objects that she's not supposed to have into the pile of toys until one day she can completely ignore all the objects she's not supposed to have and just focus on her toys. It'll take some work and a lot of patience, but we hope to get Pilaf up to that level. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Grown Up Guide Pup.